What's up everybody, this is Jason from Two Cats on a Couch and today we are gonna be doing some movie reviews on the front porch of our house because tonight is Halloween. And why not kill two birds with one stone? <laughs> Basically because we've been putting this off for a while and tonight's Halloween. So we literally have to sit outside to give candy or we're going to be those asshole neighbors. Strap in, I'm gonna eat a payday. Oh my god, I forgot how good these were. It is what it is. Happy Halloween, Andy. Happy Halloween. And also, hey guys, happy Halloween. We're in the middle of giving out tricks and treats. Ooh, tricks. So if we get interrupted, you'll have to pardon us. Mm. What are we reviewing tonight on the spooky Halloween? Well, I thought it would be apropos to review two movies tonight. So have I watched two movies? One. You have watched two movies. You've watched both of them. Okay. Uh, the first one we're going to review is the remake of Hellraiser. Oh, yeah! Beautiful, isn't it? It's really nice. You can hold it. So before we get into this, have you watched the original Hellraisers? No. You made me watch parts of one or two of them, yeah. but I don't really remember liking it. Um, again, it's one of those things I think mm -hmm, I needed mm -hmm. to have watched when I was younger. Right. Like you did. Yeah. You were all about the original Hellraiser. I was. Uh, Hellraiser is probably one of my more favorite franchises. I mean, they're not good. No, but, but... there's a difference between good and fun. Yeah. Or creepy. Yeah. And as a kid, Pinhead was creepy, I imagine. Well, it wasn't just the Pinhead. It was like all the Cenobites. Actually, Cenobites. Pinhead was like not the creepiest one. Like my, the one that freaked me out chatterbox oh yeah the guy with the, the uh, no uh, lips uh, and his teeth just moved that, that dude was creepy as hell comfortable the sound <gasps> um just imagining me having no lips makes me uncomfortable I know. so the first film like when i watched it as a kid i you know it was like a gore film you know and i appreciate it for that because i liked you know i was a little you liked the blood kid. you liked the gore you liked the torture but then part two i realized that i mean at the end of part one's the same but part two like, not only is it really good, but the story is where the Cenobites, they're not bad guys. They're, they're not, not the villains. villains. They're yeah. not Jason Voorhees. They're not Freddy Krueger trying to kill people. What are they? They're doing a job. They're like guardians of hell. You opened it. We came. It's just a Oh, no. It is a means to summon us. Explorers in the further regions of experience. So that always intrigued the hell out of me. Um, so they're basically doing a job. They're basically doing a job, and that's why I really liked it. So let's get into the new movie. What's the new movie about? Yeah, it's about the a guy who has the collection. Of what? Um, I guess of really hard to find. What we come to find out are these puzzle boxes, and mm -hmm. he needs one mm -hmm. more person to solve this puzzle so that he can get his wish. You summon whatever, and right. whatever configuration it ends in is this is like power or love or lust or whatever, you know, that you can get. Yeah. You know, but be careful what you wish for. Um, so he does, and then years later, we meet our characters now, and one of them is kind of a drug-addled, right? Yeah. Like on rehab yeah. and yeah. stuff, yeah. so yeah. nobody She's... believes her. Her brother gets... Lost. Her, her, well, well, hold on. You're jumping ahead a lot. We have a. Hey, you wanted a synopsis. I was trying to. It's about, <laughs> it's about a. It's about a puzzle box and all the bad <laughs> things that happen when you open it. Basically, the yeah. End. What it comes down to is that we have a person who has been addicted to drugs, who's who's trying to kick it, living with her brother, rent free, uh, can't get a job. Doesn't and, want to. I don't think. But the thing I like about her is. Not, not just her, but every character is, like most 
horror films, especially from the 80s and 90s, you have these dumb characters. Mm -hmm. Who don't put thought into their actions and you're yelling at the screen, don't go that way, don't do that. Not only, no, no, like like I actually think they think the opposite. It's not about don't do this, it's about hurry up and die. Like, yeah, Yuki, you want to come? She heard us talking. Two cats on the porch, (laughs) one in the window. Remember, Everyone like watching those likeable. old slasher films? Like every, like you just want them to die. Mm-hmm. Like they're badly written characters. They're dumb. They're vapid. You just want to see them murdered in the coolest way possible. Yeah, and that's the thing what it's I about. like about this movie is that, besides the brother, the brother was written really kind of like two dimensional car- cardboard. But he wasn't really in it. But he wasn't to... in it long, so that's fine. Yeah. But everyone else was written so well that I actually worried about you them wanted, when shit you happened. You were like rooting for them or like, I was oh for no, them to don't win. do that. Which oh, never yeah. happens. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so like, I really enjoyed the writing of the characters. And as the characters progressed, like they might have started off as shit bags, but they grew. Mm-hmm. And, and they so, all kind of grew as a team together. And everything nice. was done for a reason, which I really yeah. like, which gets into our ne- ne- next movie as well. Cold. But um, I mean, it was, it was done wonderfully. It was written yeah. wonderfully. And I had zero hope going into this movie. <laughs> yeah, you kind of thought it would be one for me. Yeah, the modern I, day I remakes you. of your yep. childhood favorites. Right. Um, but you really enjoyed it, I think. I, 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 All the I did. way up until the end. And I, you had a complaint about the Cenobites. Seno? Seno? I, I've always Ceno-bites? heard them called Cenobites. So you had a complaint Not about the Cenobites. Jay explained to me um, while we were watching this movie what he explained at the right. beginning of this right. video that they're not the villains, they're just guardians that are carrying out their tasks. They're just doing a job. And in this one, you thought differently. Mm-hmm. They were kind of I did. villains. Pause. When they come and get candy and then you can just start talking again yeah, yeah, and yeah. then we'll just edit it there. Okay. Unpause. I'm not, not worried about continuity. <laughs> <laughs> Unpause. Happy Halloween, guys. Happy Halloween, guys. Thank you, guys. Happy Halloween. But the problem with Guys, the you one, didn't see the look on their face. And, uh, yeah. They were like, guys, you're very fucking old. <laughs> just, just a heads up. They're like, you guys aren't cool anymore. And we're like, we never were. Joke's on you. All right. So the Cenobites in this one, though, were so, more of a villain. So I will say this, Bill, like, they were the villains of the story, and it was kind of boring because of that. Yeah. But... They were so well designed, They though. were so well designed. All and I skin. would I would say even more terrifying than the original. Um, like, see, the, and granted, I didn't watch the original, so I don't know. Oh, I, I mean, you watched the first one with me, but I don't think you've seen part, part two. Part two's the, the, the stronger one. And then I watched one of the shitty remakes with you, where it oh. took place in a hospital well, with Dreaming or Those something. weren't remakes, so Hellraiser I know, is very well they were, like, well franchised for, out or whatever They have to keep making the movies, like, every, like, three or four years. So that years, they can maintain so they can, the trademark. So they can keep the trademark or the copyright or yeah, whatever, whatever, so they can is. keep making movies. And I think they did a good job because so they made someone like, like Michael eight Bay can't bad just movies, grab it and take it. So they someone else to... can't pick it up. Okay. But they made like so many bad movies, and they finally made this a, one. a good one. Yeah. Um, but the Cenobite design, I really want to go. Like, I don't want to go too much into Excellent it because. Excellent character design. But it was dynamite. Excellent. Dynamite. I would have liked to see some of the sketches terrifying. for some of these. The I want to see the con- concept art. And I can't yeah. imagine that all of these were in previous ones. Like Chatterbox, you called him uh, out. You knew him. Chatterbox. Some of them are probably was, familiar, but some of these are new designs. I think. Well, I think they? all of them were. And I think that's kind of cool about the, all the Hellraisers. Like they always kind of bring in like one. Because you can do anything. And you can. Your imagination is the end. Is the limit. Yeah, yeah. And this and guy, whoever did this one, like the design and stuff. Oh, it his imagination knew no limits. I it like that you made jumped me to it. That so it, uncomfortable. It has to be a man. Well, I always say this guy. I say you guys. Okay. This okay. person. Yeah. Uh, but I am willing to bet it's a guy, because some of that I'm, stuff I'm with the skin pulled too. up in this, like yeah. women would be like, oh, that hurts. There was a lot of like vagina, like, like violence, in it. Like a lot of like like torn skin that was pulled, pulled, pulled back. I know. I'm, I'm I guess always, I didn't look I'm at that. I'm always looking at like the Cenobite details because I think that that's what really like pushes See, it out. See, and that's what so. kind of creeps me out. Not that I get squicked easily. It just right. makes me uncomfortable to look right. at when you, like if it's already peeled back, like I can look at it. Yeah. But somebody peeling it back, oh, like they did that like one girl in the, the hallway and they hooked her. And yeah. then, and I was just like, oh, Jay, like tell me, like I can hear look that, that it's happening. <laughs> tell me when it's done. Oh, that's right. It you, was really, you did made get, me uncomfortable. You did get, get squicked, yeah. Hooks um, and Skin make me uncomfortable. Hooks and skin. That, I think that's where I get it from. Like, um, re- review our Halloween episode. Eh. But yeah, this one I really liked. Yeah. Like, we shut it off or it ended, you know, and I was like, oh, Jay. Man. This was good. Yeah, we were really ha- happy with it. Like, the only, like, we wanted to do a review right after we watched it, but we were tired. I was so tired. And we're like, we'll do it tomorrow, and that, you know, that. Oh. 
boom, 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 boom. All right, so would you recommend it? Yes, I would to people who have and who have not seen it. I was just about to say the exact same thing. Yeah. Whether you're a longtime fan or not, I think... You just have to kind of know what you're getting into and yes. like it. If you're one of those people that's like, ew, blood, ew, skin, or, um, you're not going to like it. Like, don't watch it. But everyone else, you're going to enjoy it, I think. I also say that um, I think a lot of hardcore fan fanboys may be pissed off. Well, but tough. Deal but with still, it. still, I think it's worth a shot. It, it was Even fantastic. if they have some complaints and you're a hard boy, hardcore fanboy, like yeah, you said, yeah. um, I still think it's worth it. I think it's great. And it adds a lot more mythos to the box, too, which is hands down my favorite part of the whole Hellraiser story. The box story. is super neat. It adds. Do they always used to do no, the, the not, and then the, 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 the blade? No, the blade no. that took I, your blood. I'm pretty sure because I thought blade that was, was a really cool design in the box. Um, you know, you fiddle with it and stuff, but once you get it into mm -hmm. one of its formations mm -hmm. and it clicks into place, a little curved blade pops out to where it would stab and you in the that, hand. That's like the blood because pact. your blood is the sacrifice. Right. So then right. you count as one, two, Happy three. Happy Halloween, guys! Hi, guys! Happy Halloween! Um, but I thought that you was a very cool. You gotta start being quiet. There's a police officer here. I know. Noise complaint. Sorry, madam. We'll be quiet. <laughs> Happy Halloween. Thank you. I thought that was just ingenious. I did too. And then when the first girl saw it, our main girl, and she, she started, it. yeah, she was careful about it. Or yeah. when the guy was clicking it, and she was like, no, wait. And she tried to stop him. Yeah. Because right. she knew what was going to happen, and the didn't work. Or she knew something was going to happen. I don't know if, I don't remember if, like, she, she actually. She figured it out a few in. Yeah. But. And then she had the other guy open it. Uh, it was utterly fantastic, the guy though, that and her. one I highly recommend. Yeah. It, 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 it was it was really good. I do too. I'd watch it again. Yeah, I think I would. I, maybe oh, maybe I I'd go back and watch too. one and two, and then I'd watch this one again. I really want to watch see part if two I have again, the same feel. Because two is hands down my favorite. Of I'll the watch whole two franchise. with you because I yeah. have not seen that. I know. And that's like actually like it makes the Cenobites kind of good guys in yeah, it. Yeah, I'd like to see that. So point. yeah, it's it, it's interesting. All Seriously, right. yeah. is he coming back? Check it out. Watch it. Oh, here comes the candy corn car again. All right. See you guys. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Hi, Rexy, are you protecting the candy? I saved one Butterfinger oh, and one okay. Reese's Take Five for last. Good. Just refilled, guys. Happy Halloween. Jason, if you hear this later when you're editing, I love you. Watching you out there with the kids at Halloween time and you're having fun and you're making them laugh and you're making them feel special. It's very nice that you share your light with the world like that.